Backing up your WordPress website is crucial. And in this video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. You have a couple of different options to choose from, one of which is to manually back up the website yourself. But let's be honest, it's 2023 and that's just crazy talk. Now, if you want to do it, I'll leave instructions down below in the description. But these two other options are significantly better. The next one depends on your hosting provider. Your host may actually allow you to do backups directly from your dashboard. And some even let you do automatic backups that are scheduled. That way you can set it and forget it. We personally recommend SiteGround, which we'll leave a link to down below in the description. If you use our link, we may earn a commission, which helps support our team and all of our ad-free videos. The other option is to use a plugin like Updraft Plus. There are many different options to choose from, but we prefer Updraft Plus due to its popularity, reliability, and ease of use. We'll also leave a link to them down below in the description. That said though, let's go ahead and set up Updraft Plus. The first thing you wanna do is go over to your WordPress dashboard, press on plugins, add new, and then select the Updraft Plus plugin and press install now. Then press activate. Once the plugin is installed and activated, go over to settings, Updraft Plus backups. From here, we could go ahead and press backup now, which is crazy considering we just installed the plugin. That's how simple it is to use. But as you can see, we also have a ton of other options to choose from. And if we scroll down, we can see our existing backups. Of course, we haven't made any yet, but let's change that. I'm gonna press backup now. This little window pops up with a few different options, like include your database and your files in your backup. The third option is for remote storage, which we have not set up yet. And the fourth option says only allow this backup to be deleted manually. This is great, especially on your first backup. You really wanna have a starting point that won't ever just be deleted unless you decide to delete it yourself. With that said, let's go ahead and press backup now. You can see it doing its thing and we can read the last log message. So you can see all my themes are being saved right now, which is pretty cool. And there we go, the backup has finished running. If we scroll down, we could see the existing backup. And what's cool is if I press database, it'll download just the database from that backup. Under actions, we can restore back to this backup. We could also delete it and we could even view the log of the backup. That was pretty straightforward and that's really all you need to know, but let's keep diving in and seeing what else is possible. Under migrate slash clone, there's really nothing for you to do here. It's just showing off their other plugin, Updraft Clone, which is pretty cool. And they also mention the migrator add-on that you can add, but we're not gonna worry about any of that right now. Under settings, we can set up a schedule. And this is awesome because it lets you set up a automatic backup for your files and your database independently. So if I wanna back up files every week, but I wanna do my database every day, I could. And we could also decide how many backups it retains, which in this case, it's set by default to two for each. Also quick note, it says right here that if you want a fixed time for your backup, you do need premium, which I know is a little bit of a bummer, um, but it is important if your server is busy during the day, you kind of want that to happen at night so it doesn't affect traffic. The next option is for remote storage, which if you remember when we made our initial backup, we had a grayed out box for that. We could set up Updraft Vault, which is basically their storage server. We could also put it to Dropbox and so on, which is nice because it's like, hey, my website has a copy, but also this remote location. So if you want, you can go ahead and mess around with that, which is pretty cool. And as it says right here, you can send a backup to more than one destination with premium. The next option, include in files backup, just allows us to exclude certain things from being included in our backup, which is super nice. The next option is specific for premium. If you want, you can encrypt your database backup, but again, you do need premium. The next checkbox allows you to get a basic report sent to your email every time a backup occurs, which is really nice. If you do have the premium version, you do get more reporting features, but still a basic email sent to you is pretty nice. The final thing here is expert settings. Don't, don't, let's not, let's just move forward. The next tab is for advanced tools. I don't think you'll really find yourself in here too often. The one thing that is cool if you manage multiple sites is you can go to this tab, export, import settings, and you'd export your Updraft Plus settings, which is pretty handy. The final tab is all about what you get if you upgrade to premium. We know that that includes things like setting the exact time that your backup happens, but you also get better support and a lot of other options as you can see here as I scroll 
through. But uh, not everyone's going to need it. But if you do, go ahead and use our link in the description down below. Again, we may earn a commission and it'll help support our team and all of our ad free videos. Also down here at the bottom, you're going to see that there are a bunch of plugins made by the Updraft team, and we do recommend them like WP Optimize. We've talked about it before on this channel, so go check that video out. I don't know about you, but that was super easy. I love that we were able to set up automatic backups using the free version of Updraft Plus. Now we don't have to lift a finger and we know we always have a backup just in case if something goes wrong. If you are a SiteGround user, you can check out the tutorial in the description. It'll show you how to set up automatic backups. And of course, if you wanna go the manual route, we do have a tutorial for that as well. With that said though, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more like it. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.